to nurses for diverting patients to private hospitals. Mrs. Soludo assures of justice for eight-year-old girl defied by 75-year-old Baba. All right, uh, Obieze, which of the stories uh, catches your interest this morning? Two of them. Mm. One would be the diversion of patients. To private hospitals. Yes. It not be today mm. now, but thank God they mm. are just uh, discovering The truth about the thing is, because of this, a lot of public uh, institutions are suffering. Okay. Schools, hospitals, you know. The truth is that the government should be serious about these things, especially on the health. There is no way. The private hospitals, for sure, we know they don't have equipment enough to handle and The government hospitals have equipment, but uh, because of the way they do it now, that people just open private institutions, clinic, clinic hospitals, outlets, uh, they, they normally divert the government patients to their private ones. And in doing that, some of them don't have enough hands to handle the, the, the problems. And they don't have equipment. In doing that, they are cutting off the revenues for the state. So the state government should look into it and look into it properly. The truth about it is the individuals are suffering. Sometimes you go, they divert you to their own hospital where you don't have, they don't have enough hands to manage your problems. Mm. They don't have the equipment to manage your problems. They will just be charging you money and uh, at the end of the day. And uh, doing that, the government hospital suffers, suffers too because they will not pay attention to the patients in the hospital. Reasons are because they want to divert the person. They will tell you, no, if you are in a hospital, we have to, and the government is doing that, government is doing if government can keep a straight court rules, if you are working for government, you don't have a private hospital. That is just the truth. It will help to manage the situations. Mm. But as long as you give them hands to be doing bilateral conversion, there will be a problem. For sure, they want to maintain their own personal hospitals to work better than the, that of the government. Therefore, the patients come, they monitor the patient and see that the patient can pay bills. Mm. They will just divide the patient, telling the patients, you see, government is, is not serious, <laughs> government is not doing that, they are not providing this, they are not providing that. If you are my hospital, I, of course I am, I, I, I am better off, I know, the, I know how the people feel. I manage them here, so I know their problems. The government doesn't know. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the government hospital suffers, one, the revenues are dropped, it will suffer the government sometimes, that's why, um, a lot of people complain of their salary not being paid mm. because their salary has been diverted okay. through private practices. All right. So government should look into it and see what they can do about that. If you are working for government, don't open any private hospital. Uh, now, I think government have started by uh, suspending them, two doctor, suspending doctor and two nurses. That, I think, uh, is a step. Don't you think it's a step in the right direction? If they want to suspend, they will suspend all of them. All of them? Yes. All, all the, the doctors in that hospital. Okay. Even the nurses. Okay. Yes. If they put a straight court law, it's either you work for the government or you don't. All right. Let's and the government that. should do something and pay their salary at when due. Okay. Mm. You say you have interest for two stories. Which other one? The one of uh, this Baba. 75-year-old <laughs> Baba. But what will a 75-year-old uh, man do with 8 years child? I don't understand. <laughs> Is it not mental health? <laughs> it's mental problem. Mm, that that, <laughs> that yes. means that it should be examined. Yes. Is that your suggestion? No, for sure. He's not normal. To find out what... what is if a normal problem. human being will not have anything to do with a girl of that age... Mm. What, what did you find in the game? Mm -hmm. What is attracting you? Oh. Is it, so it's not normal. The person is not normal. Uh, maybe the old age has touched him. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's run the first paper for review. Uh, the Daily Times newspaper. Let's see stories in front of the Daily Times. Nigeria's economy to experience a significant growth soon. That's coming from the vice president of Nigeria, Shetima. 
We have a rider there implores Nigerians to be patient with President Tinubu's uh, administration. NIMET's GRMA partner to enhance access to climate risk modeling. We pay bandits for access to our farms. Ex Sokoto Governor Bafawa, Bafarawa ONSA directs full enforcement of Nigeria's cybercrime law. FG to introduce school to work scheme to enhance productivity. We are reviewing our fiscal space to arrive at improved minimum wage. Nigeria Governors Forum speaking with a rider there commends Nigerian workers for their dedication to service patients in face of many challenges. And also, uh, more than 15 terrorist commanders neutralized in April. Military spokesperson talking. All right. Uh, these are the, some of the stories that are making their headlines in front of the Daily Times. If governors can pay bandits to allow them to go to farm, what the the system the system is, I don't understand. Mm. How can a governor says he pays bandits, a commander in chief of a state that has the army, has the police, mm. has the vigilante, has every security apparatus around him, is going to pay the bandits to allow the people go to farm? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say about this, because it should, this very thing should not come from a state government. Individuals can say it's no problem, but if a state governor, who is the government, who has authority, of course, in a state, after God in that state, is the governor of the state. So if the governor cannot take a serious move to check the security problems in the state, and he went also to go and pay the bandit to allow them. That means he handed over the state to the bandit. But that is what it is. It's just like you, I, I, you, some, uh, the MD of this place has to pay a boy in this place to allow the, the programs to take place. That means the, the, the boy, maybe the camera guy or the cleaner, is in charge of the place. But anyway, he does well. Of course, you want the farmers to go to farm, but I don't think it's the right step he took. To do. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know. The vice president talking about uh, Nigeria's economy to experience significant growth soon. Uh, you're, that's what our vice president is telling us on papers this morning. But we know that uh, last week uh, we, we experienced some you know, moves by oil marketers to do something about the fuel. And today, the petrol is being sold at 800 <laughs> and 800 plus. And uh, you're still telling us, I wonder the magic that uh, they stand to perform to achieve this. Last time I was here, we were talking about dollar coming down. My question then was that what are the, what are the steps to bring the dollar down? I think, is it you? No. No, the other lady. She told me they pumped in money. Pumping in money is not a solution. I told him that day there should be a, a, a systematic moves mm. that will guarantee the dollar coming down. Not, of course, if there is no water here, you brought a drone of water. Of course, it will satisfy the people for the moment. Mm. But I think the best is to drag in water here through pump. Lay pipe down here. It takes a little time. Then by the time it starts flowing, it will flow. But if, if there is scarcity of water here and the people have no water, people are thirsty. You are not thinking of a permanent solution. You want to bring a drop of water. Uh, they will drink water and get okay that day. What if after that day, what happens? So what he is saying now that the, <laughs> that the economy, economy will get better soon. Better soon. He has not told us what... Significant growth. Mm -hmm. He has not told us what they are doing to make it that way. Uh, because you cannot just come up and tell us the Nigerian economy, we, 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 we mm -hmm. witness a significant growth. By what? By a miracle? I think he's saying it to... Uh, because the writer there says um, 
uh, it urges Nigerians to be patient. Mm, yeah, are you, it's pleading mm, for us to be patient. And uh, I don't know. It's just like telling a child, don't worry, I will mm. go and buy a plan for you. Okay. Don't just stop crying. Mm. I'll buy a plan for you. Mm. The child will keep quiet and rejoice for the moment mm. that my daddy will buy a plan for me. And be waiting for, and the, be waiting for the plan. plan to come. And by the time he waits and waits, he will start making trouble. Mm -hmm. Daddy, you told me, but where is the plan? Because there is no system to bring in the plan. Mm -hmm. So if they, if they are telling us this, and uh, there is nothing we are seeing that will make us believe that such thing is possible. They keep telling us, have patience, have patience. This patient, if it is a human being, Maybe the patient will die. <laughs> okay, let's let's see uh, the Punch newspaper. That's the next uh, in our lineup. Uh, the Punch newspaper. Let's see stories making their headlines. Their fuel supply: nine thousand marketers may lose licenses. Ipman begs uh, NMDPRA and NPC not to delist operators from sales sales portal to avert fuel crisis. Keys persist as more filling stations open for sale. Pump price drops marginally. Where did it drop? Uh, <laughs> okay, 715,000 Naira pay. Governors demand sustainable minimum wage. Governor, government borrows 11 trillion via bonds, T bills in four months. EFCC to move against schools charging dollars. FG wants uh, saboteurs as power generation rises to 4,800 megawatts. Uh, police stumble on drug den after Lagos market fracas. Police allay fears as IPOP declares May 30 sit at home. London saw the attack. Federal government condemns Nigerian British boy's murder. Uh, K. Underbridge apartment. Ejected tenants may face prosecution. All uh, right. A uh, lot of stories making their headlines in front of that paper. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I will tell you, sometimes I don't understand this country. How can a state, a school in Nigeria, be charging, dollar. be charging dollars to pay school fees, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you just go to the school and they ask you to come and pay school fees with dollars. Mm -hmm. So what happened to Naira? And the government keeps quiet. Before you know anything, a lot of, even the local schools will be charging dollars. <laughs> because if the other schools, why would, even if they are foreign schools, as long as they're in Nigeria, they don't need to charge dollars. Is there any other place, the whole world, globally, where such thing happens? It cannot happen. Uh -huh. Because when you talk of uh, a, a, a other schools charging dollars, do it's not, it doesn't happen in any other uh, it cannot happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. the reasons are because if we don't have confidence and believe in our currency, who will then do? And remember, this is not this is not just. Uh, they, I think they are just saying it now, but it's been there. If it's if, there if it has Abuja. not been happening, they will not say it. Uh, it's been there. Mm -hmm. So and the government kept quiet, and some of the government officials are paying the school fees also. <laughs> yes, they are paying with dollar. Is, is, is it, is it uh, an ABS worker that will pay before? <laughs> is, is, they are the people now. So the if people. a government official will go and take dollar to pay school fees in Nigeria, mm. and uh, tomorrow they will tell us to be patriotic, mm. uh, Nigeria is, uh, we better be patriotic, we better be patient with the, our government, we better be patient with our economy. And there's uh, somebody who is in government, we change our own Naira into dollar to go and pay school fees in Nigeria. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I don't know. This uh, banner headline on fuel supply, 9,000 marketers may lose licenses. And if man is begging uh, NMDPRA, NMPC, not to delist operators because um, to avert fuel crisis. I, don't, I wonder what we are already facing. If not fuel crisis, tell me what it is. What is the reason for, for their losing their licenses? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't know. It, it's, I think it's related with, the, with what is already happening. A lot of cues on, uh, 
on uh, filling stations in this country. A lot of people are on queues waiting to buy fuel. And it was, um, it is this week that the fuel price in, uh, increased from um, 700 naira to 800. And 720. Officially? Yes, they said 800 naira yesterday. You don't know? I don't know. Uh, that, is, that is the current price of fuel. The government pronounced it, or they just choose to? I didn't hear it from government. People are buying fuel 800 naira. I, uh, I bought 1,500. Okay, okay. But what I'm saying, is it official or people are buying, selling black markets? I don't think it's official. It's not official. Because I bought there before yesterday for NMPC 600 naira. Okay. So that's why I'm thinking if it's yesterday they announced it because I didn't buy it for yesterday. Okay. But <laughs> if everybody is at fault, who is going to catch the faulters? The petrol man, the petrol station man who bought fuel or bought from somebody, you know, some of them get allocation and some people buy from them. He's, he has bought it, he wants to sell and make profit. So is that why you are deleting the, delisting them? If they have, if they have supplies straight from the government, mm -hmm. from NNPC, they will not add money now. Mm -hmm. So if you are giving, uh, if you are giving fuel to somebody that doesn't have petrol station to go and sell to people that have petrol station, he has put his margin and this man will buy it higher. So he has to sell to make money, to maintain his station, pay his salary and do other things. So I don't think what government should do, government should do something. Government should not be blaming people. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they are putting all their responsibilities on people. Telling me this person has done this. Okay, like we are talking about private hospitals. Mm. How can there be bilateral conversion? How can you allow that? Oh, it's just like somebody is working for ABS here. And the person will open his own station in the front of ABS. And you are telling me all the adverts, he will divert it there. And the, this place will be running without adverts. Where are they going to generate money? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, government, uh, see, I am saying this. Maybe some people will say, why is this guy talking like this? I know. I live abroad. I know how this is work. I'm not trying to insult anybody or accuse anybody. But there are things that is known and that are supposed to be done. It's not rocket science. Make policies that will catch whoever the person is. Catch the person. Put the person off. Other people will learn from it. But if you in the bus here, if a boy is then if you have some people, you know this person is doing this, thing, you close your eye and you are chasing after this person that is not doing much. <laughs> Chase every of them. Every other person will take care. See, the truth about the hotel is, I don't understand. 9,000 marketers may lose their license. If they do, the fuel will be there. Discussion will continue. Because if people don't see, okay, like what kind of, how many petrol stations do we have? And maybe 10 lose their licenses. So how many is left? And the ones that are there, even if they are selling for one naira, if they are selling for 1,000, there must be Q. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, move on to the Vanguard news for now and see stories uh, making their headlines in front of the Vanguard. Minimum wage, governors working on what is payable. Nigeria Governors Forum speaking, uh, says a 37-member tripartite committee will uh, still consulting, assures of uh, looking into remuneration of state uh, judicial officers, infrastructure of courts, labor justifies a 615,000 Naira wage demand, gives a breakdown, counters government on May 1 commencement date for new minimum wage Press freedom crucial to democracy, good governance, NGE. Resident doctors protest shortage of manpower in Kogi. Okay. Petrol scarcity, long queues uh, linger despite FG's uh, assurances. Uh, Okwama, court adjourns till June 4 for hearing. IPOP declares it at May 30 to honor Biafra heroes. And, um, okay, Lukman battles Roma's uh, deep. Uh, Dibala four others for Seri A P O T M award. 
Okay, that's the okay. Basaki accepts Vanguard Award, gives reason for a do best initiative. Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway FG's allegation divisive, distracting, coming from Peter Obi. NSA orders enforcement of cybercrime law. NDIC raises deposit insurance coverage by 900%. We take a look at the Daily Independent quickly before we comment. We are reviewing a wage state campaign that's coming from our governors. Uh, Daily Independent newspaper, that's what we are looking at. Be patient as Tinubu stares Nigeria out of economic turbulence. Coming from a Vice President, Shetima. Uh, all set for Independent Awards 2023 tomorrow. FG plans to uh, review mining uh, license, license fees to boost sectoral capacity. Kaduna Police NAP 280 suspects rescue 158 from kidnappers. Lack of certification reason. 24.7 billion uh, B737NG simulator equipment not in use. Okay, we have all the stories to avert risk of bank runs. Uh, uh, NDIC reviews deposit insurance cover. NGE says press freedom crucial to democracy and good governance. Okay, Lagos realized the 433 billion naira revenue in first quarter of 2024 says a commissioner okay as the much and you look at some of the stories before we move on our time is running minimum wage governance working on what they is can pay. <laughs> see the problem is the the operations here is somehow i don't understand the government the government go the state government mm employed people and they, they, why they are employing them they should know they will pay them i mean <laughs> so why do you employ much people that you cannot pay and what is the reason for not paying where a state governor will go out with about 20 cars foiled for just no reason just to be doing wah 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 it is nonsense cut your governance Cut the, the cost of your governance. If a state governor goes out with five cars, it's not small. Because he is the one that is called for the meeting. Mm. All those wow, 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 they are not in, into the discussions. They are just there. I will tell you, I lived in Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed. Sheikh Mohammed goes out with his uh, Mercedes Jigad. And his friend will sit by him. He'll be driving around everywhere. Sometimes you see him on horses. The highest that could happen, he will have one or two security guys moving with him. I will tell you, if you go out on Sheikh Zayed Road in the evening, you see Sheikh Mohammed on his jigad, number 20. He's, everybody knows he's him. He's not, he's not undercover or anything. He will be driving and his friend will sit with him. They will be discussing. On Sheikh Zaid, Sheikh Zaid Road is one of the busiest roads. Sometimes you see him on his horse. Hmm? Okay. Now somebody here, a local government chairman will go with convoy. Or because of what? And you go with convoy, burn all the petrol, and you will not pay your, your salary to the staff. They are now working out how the wages they can pay. Which wages they can pay. You are not thinking of all the allowances you are taking, plus the one that is not official you are taking. And you have not remembered that you pay salary. And now you are thinking of how to work out what you pay people you employed. And these people will go to work every day. And they will be in the office working for you. And you say you are working out. Now tell me, what are you working out on? What is that you are working out on? Are they not working in the office? Is that office not producing money? So where is the money they are producing? Mm -hmm. The truth about the whole thing is, I said it and I keep saying, you guys will be asking me, you don't believe in prayers. I do. But all these political prayers, I don't believe them. Somebody will not come out and tell me, pray for government. Pray for government for what? 
The government is generating all the money in Nigeria and they are keeping the money in Nigeria, spending the money in Nigeria, and you are still praying for them. Mm. They are, see, let me tell you, government is God. Government of any state, of any country, is their God. Mm. After the Almighty God in heaven, the next God we have is the government. So people should be praying to government as they are praying to God also. And somebody will come and tell me, pray for the state or pray for the country. For what? All right, let, let's, uh, let's run. Let's see uh, stories are making their headlines on the nation. I so will take the nation and the guardian together before we analyze. The, in front of the nation, we have um, uh, states will pay only sustainable minimum wage, say governors, which ride as their subnationals to adopt justice justice sector summit resolutions. Police parade mastermind of Kaduna Abuja train attack. Uh, Binance chief's money laundering trial stalled. Uh, we have new twist to Lubado as kingmakers uh, Ladoja disagree. Entry keeps Olaku Lane waiting. Uh, we also have a uh, Lagos account for 20% of Nigeria's GDPs, page, five, page 50, held uh, 50 held over Lagos market fracker. Uh, all the stories in front of that paper, we see NGE 6 repeal of uh, anti-press freedom law. And uh, okay, we also take a look at the Guardian newspaper, Nigerian and professional football leagues. How dodgy officiating complicit club officials supporters ruined games NGE task National Assembly on better deal for journalists CSOs demand suspension of officials party members facing corruption labor defense 615,000 naira wage proposal a state review fiscal capacity petrol scarcity long queues dry pumps remain despite FG's assurances Okay, victims lose uh, 7.67 billion naira to fraudsters in 2023. World Press Freedom, Freedom Day, six release of detained uh, journalists. We also have two army officers face court martial over bombing of 100 in Kaduna. All right. Which of these stories are you looking at? Still on state, state wanting to pay what is sustainable. We we have to work on our conscience. Mm. If we ever believe God, and we believe there is God in heaven who takes care of us, somebody cannot accumulate money his ten generation cannot use because it's a state government. Mm. It's like Kogi now, Kogi, Kogi. Under Bello, people are crying, crying mm -hmm. seriously for eight years. And you see how much money EFCC is chasing after him to return. Mm -hmm. Kogi has the natural resources Kogi has. I don't know which state in Nigeria that have it. Now, I will tell you why I know is because I grew up in Lokoja. Okay. I did my primary and secondary school in Lokoja. You understand? Mm -hmm. They have agriculture. They have a lot of... I mean, that is where we have a Jakuta Steel Company. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of things there. You understand? Mm -hmm. And the, the people are still living under poverty. And the state governor will have as much as that money EFCC is chasing him after. Mm -hmm. Look at Abia State. Abia State, before OT, nobody knew that Abia State can be better. Nobody knew. If you go to Aba, Aba, Aba that produces a lot of money for the state, Aba looks like it does been. Oh, all right, I don't know if you can wish uh, journalists well, because today is um, Press Freedom uh, Day, Day, and of course the, the, the uh, House members, the, the senators are, uh, they are agitating for release of uh, detained uh, journalists. And of course, there's one, one thing that, is, that touched me, one of the papers, that we looked at says press freedom crucial to democracy, good governance. And so one begins to ask question: Is uh, press freedom really free in Nigeria? What is free in Nigeria? 
<laughs> this way, like, you know, that is. The truth is that attacking the press is putting people under that in darkness. Mm. The press is the only light we have to assess information. Okay. So for me, we are, we, are, we are in democracy. They should not be. Yeah, people should not be stupid, yes. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you don't go after them for giving information. Yes, I remember in the Bible, it was like that too. Because when Saul was killed, David said, do not publish it anywhere. He was talking to the press. <laughs> he wasn't talking to the private. <laughs> of course, because you know they would take the information okay. out. You know, but, 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 but there is a great challenge this time because of the um, the, the, the ICT age, the uh, computer age that we are in. You know, some nothing is is hidden any longer. And if you don't allow people that are trained to do it, the untrained ones takes it off on the social no. The media. truth about the whole thing is social media. Because the trend was to do it with uh, some level of with responsibility. Caution. Yes. Yeah? Uh, the, yes. If, if, if the government go after the, the, the established uh, journalists and the media houses, mm -hmm. then the social medias will take over. Mm -hmm. They are not nurtured. They are not... Uh, they are not trained. And tell me which one is more dangerous now. The more dangerous is social media. Okay. Social media. And the truth is that they don't filter any news. Like if something happened now, you see everybody with the phone, talk about Facebook, PM, WhatsApp, PM, mm. uh, without much uh, information. Mm. But I think the, the best thing to do is the government should allow the media, rather, to keep function. on turning them on how to disseminate information. Glo global best yes. practices. Because okay. if, you, if you attack the people, you know their address. The ones that you don't know their address, how, what do you do to them? All right, let's take a look at the Daily Trust before we wrap up. Our time is far spent. A repentant Boko Haram members invade police station in Boronu uh, with uh, riders there, attack immigration and DLA checkpoints. We repel them, police speaking, and no comment for now. Boronu government, it calls for review of the radicalization program. Experts speaking. Bandits kill 17, abduct five in Kaduna. We won't blame Buhari for our challenges coming from our Vice President, Shetima. May 15th slated for inaugural flight as 65,000 Nigerians pay for Hajj. We have uh, Binance founder, we've seen that. Press Freedom Day, NGE frowns at abusive lawsuits against uh, journalists. Okay, we are committed to better wages, governors speaking. Okay, that's the much we can take. So, just take a comment on the repentant Boko Haram's invading the police station. He has repented now. <laughs> that's why they had to invade the police station. <laughs> yeah, he has repented. Mm -hmm. He repented mm -hmm. in, uh, in the Fambisa. Mm -hmm. So, he came out as a repentant. <laughs> he has gone out to do evangelism now. All right. right. <laughs> that's the much time could allow us to take the, on the, the press. About the sorry, thing is. sorry, we can't go further. Okay. Our time is fast spent. Would like to thank you so much, Onyeka Obieze, for being here this morning, despite the heavy rain this morning. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> you are welcome. All right. You are blessed. Welcome. All right. That's what we would like to hear. <laughs> okay, thank you. Do stay tuned. We have more coming up on Good Morning and Umbra Show. Do stay. Solution, I solution,